ஹலோ எவ்ரிவான் வெல்கம் டு அன் அகாடமி அண்ட் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் டீல்ஸ் வித் சிக்யூஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஆர்ட் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் அண்ட் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி திஸ் லெசன் கவர்ஸ் தூபாஸ் பில்லர்ஸ் அக்செட்ரா அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ப்ரெசென்டட் டு யூ பை மை சாத்விகா யூ கேன் ரீட் அபவுட் மீ ஓ ஹியர் ப்ளீஸ் டூ ரேட் ரிவ்யூ அண்ட் ரிகமெண்ட் த கோர்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ளீஸ் டூ கமெண்ட் யூர் ஸ்கோர் இந்த கமெண்ட் செக்ஷன் பிலோ கமிங் டு த ஃபஸ்ட் கொஸ்டன் விச் ஆர் த ஃபாலோயிங் ஆர் த பேட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அசோகன் பில்லர்ஸ் long shaft made of single stone capital abacus choose the correct options among them and long shaft yes it is present and the capital l yes even that is present and abacus yes it is also present so the answer is b only 1 2 and 3 and the pillar is made of chunar chunar sandstone and it is usually made at a same place called chunar as you have already discussed in the previous lesson and the shaft forms the base that is a monolithic structure that is uh, that is drawn from a single stone monolithic means it is um, made from a single stone and on shaft there is a capital either bell shaped or lotus shaped this one this is the lotus shaped one and above the capital there is a rectangular or circular base that is abacus this one here it is rectangular this is known as abacus and above the abacus there is an animal figure and here it is the lion and this is the parts of a ashokan pillar second one national emblem of india is taken from the ashokan pillar this pillar was built in commemoration of ashoka's changed attitude from berigosha to dhammagosha depicting the victory in kalinga war dharma chakra pravartana ashoka taking buddhism and it was built in commemoration of dharma chakra pravartana that is the first sermon and abacus and animal figure in sarnath pillar forms our national emblem and it marks the first sermon of dharma chakra pravartana consider the following statements about stupas found in ancient india they were burial mounds prevalent in india from vedic period After the death of Buddha nine stupas were erected choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one or two yes there were the burial mounds and prevalent in vedic period and after death death of buddha nine stupas were erected so both the statements were true so the answer is c both one and two though present in vedic period stupas were so popular popularized during buddha times Which of the following are the differences between Ashokan pillars and Achaemenian pillars? Ashokan pillars were generally attached to state buildings while the Achaemenian pillars were independent. Ashokan pillar shaft were monolithic while this is while sorry a typo those of Achaemenian pillars were made of various pieces so the correct statements and here Ashokan pillars were uh, independent but not attached to the state buildings while achaemenian pillars were mostly attached to state buildings so the statement one is incorrect and the ashokan pillars shaft were monolithic yes we have seen in the first question and the achaemenian pillars were made of various pieces yes this is true so the answer is only two consider the following statements caves during mauryan period were marked by highly polished finish of interior walls but the gateways were made simple barabar and nagarjuna caves in bihar were formed during the times of dasharath son of ashoka here not even here the interior is highly polished yes it is true um, but also the gateways are also very well decorated they are not simple so the answer so the first statement is incorrect and yes barabar and nagarjuna caves were built by dasharath so the answer is b only 2 there were decorative gateways sculptures found in ancient india were used in decoration of torana and medhi of stupas yaksha and dakshini are famous sculptures choose the correct statements and yes they were used for decoration of torana and medhi and yes yakshini and yaksh were the famous sculptures during that times so the answer is c both 1 and 2 and they were a form of religious expression 
సెవెంత్ వన్ యక్ష్ అండ్ యక్షిని ఆర్ ద ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ వర్షిప్ ఆఫ్ హిందూయిజం జైనిజం బుద్ధిజం ఆల్ ఆఫ్ ద అబవ్ అండ్ దేవర్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ హిందూయిజం జైనిజం అండ్ బుద్ధిజం సో ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ ఆల్ ద త్రీ సో ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ డి ఆల్ ఆఫ్ ద అబవ్ అండ్ ద ఎర్లీయెస్ట్ మెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఎక్స్ అండ్ ఎక్షిని వర్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ శిలపతి కారం అండ్ ఆల్ జైల్ తీర్థాంకరాస్ వర్ అసోసియేటెడ్ విత్ ఎక్షిని గాంధార మధుర అమరావతి స్కూల్స్ ఆఫ్ స్కల్చర్ వర్ డెవలప్డ్ డ్యూరింగ్ మేదిక్ ఏజ్ మౌర్యన్ ఏజ్ పోస్ట్ మౌర్యన్ ఏజ్ నాన్ ఆఫ్ దబ్ అండ్ దేవర్ డెవలప్డ్ డ్యూరింగ్ పోస్ట్ మౌర్యన్ ఏజ్ దట్ ఈస్ సి కన్సిడర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ అబౌట్ గాంధార స్కూల్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్ట్ developed in the western frontiers of punjab and afghanistan it flourished in two stages choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two yes it was developed in western frontiers and punjab and afghanistan were the main centers and yes it was flourished in two stages so the answer is c one and two and in the first stage bluish grand stone was used and in the later stage mud and stucco were used Tenth one, consider the following statements about Amaravati School of Art. It was developed on the banks of River Krishna. It was under the patronage of Satavahana rulers. It emphasizes more on the individual features of Buddha. Choose the correct statements. And yes, it was developed on the banks of River Krishna in Andhra Pradesh. And it was patronage of Satavahana rulers. Even this is true. And more emphasis on is not on individual futures but rather on uh, uh, descriptive art so the answer is a only one and two most of the jataka tales were depicted in the amravati school of art it is a narrative style with less emphasis on individual features and stories of buddha and jataka tales were depicted consider the following statements about madura school of art all three religions of that time were present patronized by kushans it was developed indigenously choose the correct statements yes in madura school of art all the three religions that is buddhism jainism and hinduism were present and they were patronized by kushans and they were purely indigenous so the answer is d only 1 2 and 3 and they were developed in and around madura song and kankalitla which is famous for jain sculptures Buddha was shown in spiritual state with a wavy hair wearing fewer ornaments Buddha was seated in a position of yogi a protuberance is shown on head signifying omniscience of Buddha the above features are part of Gandhara school Madura school Amaravati school all of the above and these are the prominent features of Gandhara school of art so the answer is a Buddha was seen as seated in a position of yogi and it was in a spiritual style and the protuberance is signifying omniscience of buddha so the answer is a gandhara consider the following statements about ajanta caves caves were developed in both hinayana and mahayana phase of buddhism they were on the slant slope of mountains choose the correct statements and yes caves were developed in both hinayana and mahayana phase but they were not placed on the slant slope of mountains rather than the stiff slope Ellora caves were on the slant slope so they have got some balconies and here the answer is a only one the paintings in ajanta were done using fresco painting outlines of the paintings were done in blue color choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two yes they were a fresco painting and outlines were done not in blue color but in red color and during and uh, the strange thing is that blue color is uh, nowhere used in ajanta paintings so the answer is a only one blue color is absent in ajanta painting elora caves are one of the best examples of cave architecture some of the statements about them are majority of the caves are buddhist they reflect a natural diversity of thing choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two here majority of caves were not buddhist but rather they are hindu brahman 
hindu religion they belongs to the hindu religion and uh, yes there was natural diversity of them so the answer is be only two and in ellora there are total of 34 caves of which 17 are brahmanical 12 are buddhist 5 are jain and developed between 5th and 11th centuries ad by various guild from vidarbha karnataka tamil nadu so they reflect diversity and as we have discussed before they are on the steep slope of the mountain and that's all for today guys hope you like the course please do rate review and recommend the course thank you have a nice day hello everyone welcome to an academy and this course deals with mcqs from art and culture and this specific lesson covers mcqs from cave architecture and temple architecture this is presented to you by me satvika you can read about me over here please do rate review and recommend the course and please do comment your score in the comment section below moving to the first question consider the following statements about ellora caves courtyards are present in ellora there are even triple storied caves choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two yes courtyards were present and there are triple stories too and we have seen before that uh, Ellora was built in a slant slope of mountain so the uh, construction of courtyards is possible so the courtyards are present so the answer is C both 1 and 2 two famous Jain caves in Ellora were Indra Sabha, Jagannath Sabha, Mahavira Sabha, Parshvanath Sabha, Vishwakarma Sabha and Vasudeva Sabha, Neminath Sabha and Naminath Sabha and the two Jain caves were famous word Indra Sabha and Jagannath Sabha. So the answer is A. Consider the following statements about Bagh caves. They were architecturally similar to Ellora caves. They were Buddhist caves. Choose the incorrect statements. Only one, only two, both one and two, neither one nor two. Here yeah, the Bagh caves were architecturally similar to Ajanta caves, not Ellora caves. So the first statement is incorrect. And yes, they were Buddhist caves. So the answer is A, only one. As they are asking, incorrect statement. They were similar to Ajanta caves and located off on the bank of Bagh River in Madhya Pradesh. Which of the following caves is known as Pandav Leni? Ajanta caves, Ellora caves, Junagadh caves, Nasik caves. And Nasik caves were known as Pandav Leni. It is a group of 23 Buddhist caves. Consider the following statements about Nasik caves. They belong to the Hinayana period. No image of Buddha is present. Choose the correct statements. Only one, only two, both one and two, neither one, not two. Yes, they belong to Hinayana period. And as they belong to Hinayana period, there is no image of Buddha. Because uh, Hinayana is opposite of idolatry. So the answer is both one and two. His, um, Buddha's presence is indicated only through motifs like throne, footprints, hand, something like that. Sixth one, Kailash temple developed under Rashtrakuta king is part of Ajanta cave, Ellora cave, Bag cave, Junagadh caves. Kailash temple is part of Ellora cave. And it is present in cave number 16. Seventh one, which of the following cave is converted to Christian cave? Nasik caves, Junagadh caves, Mandapeshwar caves, Bagh caves. And Mandapeshwar caves are those which were converted to Christian cave. And it is also called as Montperir caves. And it was it was developed in 8th century AD as a Brahmanical cave. Means in the origin they were Brahmanical cave but later they were converted to Christian cave. Consider the following statements. Initial temples found in India are circular in shape with flat roof. Entire structure was built on low platforms. Choose the correct statements. Only one, only two, both one and two, neither one nor two. Here the initial temples in India have flat roof but they were not circular. Rather they are in square shape. So the first statement is incorrect. And the entire structure was built on low platform. Yes, that is true. So the answer is B, only 2. This is the initial temple. And this is in square shape with a flat roof and it with low platform. 
and portico here this is the portico is developed on a shallow pillars three types of shikaras reka prasad pamsana and vallabhi were part of nayaka style hoysala style nagara style vesara style and these three types of uh, shikaras were present in nagara style of architecture and it was very much famous in northern india consider the following statements about nagara school of architecture goddesses ganga and yamuna were placed outside garbhagriha no water tank or reservoir were present in the temple premises ambulatory passage around the temple is closed choose the correct statements only one only two three only one three only one two three yes goddess ganga and yamuna were at the entrance of the garbhagriha and uh, no water tank is present and the ambulatory passage is also closed so the answer is d only 1 2 and 3 the presence of step tank known as surya kund is part of odisha school solanki school kajarho school all of the above and it is a part of b solanki school which was predominant in gujarat and rajasthan and it is one of the sub school of nagara school of architecture and uh, in the solanki school some specific features are they were devoid of any carvings we do not find any carvings in the uh, in that um, temples and garbhagura uh, is connected with mandapa both internally and externally 12th one temple architecture in south india started under mahadeva varman and the chola rulers hundreds of temples were built can choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one nor two yes temple architecture started with mahendra varman a pallava king and under cholas hundreds of temple were built for example the brihadeshwara temple at gangai kondu cholapuram and tanjore both were built during the chola rules and many more number of uh, temples were built so the answer is c both one and two consider the following statements about dravidian style of architecture surrounded by high boundary walls spire rises in the form of stepped pyramid called vimana there can be any number of vimanas choose the correct statements only 1 2 only 2 3 only 1 3 only 1 2 3 yes they were surrounded by high boundary walls and the spire rises in the form of stepped pyramid is called as vimana in this way and uh, only one vimana will be present not any number so the third statement is incorrect so the answer is here only one and two 14th one which of the following temples depict dravidian style of architecture brihadeshwara temple vishwanath temple konark temple lingaraj temple in brihadeshwara temple in tamil nadu is the best example of the dravidian style of architecture so the answer is a whereas the konark and lingaraj temples are the examples of odisha school of architecture which is a sub school of nagara style and vishwanath temple well, is the best example of kajarho school ravan ki khai is present in ajanta caves elora caves bag caves junagadh caves and they are present in elora caves that is b and they are part of cave number 14 and we have learned that in cave number 14 there is ravan ki khai and in cave number 16 there is kailash temple that's all for today guys hope you like the course please do rate review and recommend the course thank you have a good day hello everyone welcome to an academy and this is the course dealing with mcqs from art and culture of india and this particular lesson covers mcqs from temple architecture to the modern times architecture this is presented to you my be satvika you can read about me over here and you can rate review and recommend the course and please do comment your score in the comment section below moving to the first question which of the following can be seen in the nataraja idol drum pair of earrings snake eternal fire choose the correct options these are the options given 
and uh, in the nataraja idol there is a drum and uh, there is snake there is eternal fire earrings are present but they are not pair in the pair of ear if we assume that pair of earrings means the uh, both the earrings are of same type but here the earrings are not of same type rather one ear or uh, one earring is of a male one and the other is of a female one which denotes the adhanarishwar character of shiva so the answer is b only one three and four and the drum depicts the sound of creation and the eternal fire represents the destruction and the earring as we have seen the adhanarishwar character and the snake symbolizes the kundalini power and this is present in the human spine and if it is aroused one can attain true consciousness second one temple with tallest gopuram in the world brahadishwara temple kanchi kamakshi temple meenakshi temple madurai temples at badami and the answer is c meenakshi temple at madurai vesara school of architecture is also known as madurai school odisha school khajuraho school karnataka school and it is also known as karnataka school as it was developed by later chalukyas consider the following statements about vesara school open ambulatory passage it is hybridized form of nagara and dravidian schools choose the correct statements and the options are here and yes it has open ambulatory passage and it is a hybridized form of nagara and dravidian school it is absolutely true so the answer is c both 1 and 2 and the and some details about vesara is that it emphasizes on vimana and mandapa and the pillars ceilings and the doorways were all decorated with intricate carvings gopurams which were previously built in front side started to be built on all sides from vijayanagara school narasimha school vesara school pala school and they were built from vijayanagara school means from that time uh, previously there used to be only one gopuram but here now there uh, in on the four sides there used to be gopuram and some other details are more than one mandap was built in each temple and the concept of secular buildings was introduced and they also got influenced by the indo islamic style sixth one consider the following statements about indo islamic architecture introduced use of minars around the mosques avoided usage of human and animal figures mortar was used as a cementing agent Yes, the minars and mosques, minars around the mosque were introduced, and they have stopped using human figure and animal figures, and they and mortar was used for cementing agent. And all these statements are true about Indo-Islamic architecture. So the answer is D. Only one, two, and three. Use of arch and dome is no is called as Trabiat style, Charbagh style, Arabesque used method. arcuate style and it is known as d arcuate style we have seen in the previous course that charbagh style is that a square block is surrounded by four sides gardens and all adjacent gardens and that is what is charbagh style and arabesque method is used for decoration and mainly it is used of vegetable uh, vegetal ornamentation consider the following statements about trabiat style in architecture minars were absent brick lime mortar were primary components of construction choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one nor two yes minars were absent but and brick and lime were used in arcuate style but not trabiat style so the second statement is incorrect and in trabiat style mostly stone is used so the answer is a only one Consider the following statement about Malwa School of Architecture. Finest specimen of environmental adaptations like large windows, locally available materials were used. Choose the correct statements. And Malwa School shows the finest specimen of environmental adaptations. And yes, locally available materials were used. So the answer is C, both one and two. 
and some other details about Malwa school is that it is also called as Pathan school of architecture and pavilion was lightly arched and artificial reservoirs known as bowlies were constructed in the premises for storing of water. 10th one, construction of double dome started using, started during, sorry, slave dynasty, Kilji dynasty, Tughlaq dynasty, Lodi dynasty. And it was started during a Lodi dynasty. Du what is double dome? It means a, a hollow dome inside it, inside the top dome. If there is one top dome, there will be another dome below and uh, mostly in the Lodi dynasty only tombs were built. Hanging balcony is found in Taj Mahal, Hava Mahal, Meenakshi temple all of the above and they were found in Hava Mahal so that is B and it was a part of Rajput style and hanging balcony is constructed in all shapes and sizes. There is no specific uh, shape or size in which they will be constructed. It can be constructed in any shape or size. Gothic style of architecture is brought by Portuguese, French, English, Dutch. Gothic style is brought by English. Consider the following statements about Victorian style. It is a blend of Indian, Persian, Gothic styles. They used large windows. Arches were pointed. Choose the correct statements and here all the three statements are true about Victorian style. So the answer is D. Only one, two and three. Mass housing concept in Kerala was introduced by Louis Laurie Baker, Edward Lutens, Herbert Baker, none of the above. And it was introduced by Laurie Baker and he is known as poor man's architect. Iberian architecture was introduced by Portuguese, French, English, Dutch and it was introduced by Portuguese. The best example is the St. Cathedral Church in Goa and it has also introduced patio houses and baroque churches. That's all for today guys. Hope you like the course. Please do rate, review and recommend the course and thank you. Have a nice day. Hello everyone, welcome to an academy and we are dealing with the course MCQs from Art and Culture of India and this particular lesson covers MCQs from Paintings and Dance Forms of India and this is presented to you by me Satvika. You can read about me over here. Please do rate, review and recommend the course and please do share your scores in the comment section below. Moving to the first one. Consider the following statements about mural paintings. Most of them are in either natural caves or rocket chambers made to add on any mundane premise. All three major religions of ancient India utilize these paintings. Choose the correct statements and these are the options given. And yes, uh, they, are, they are done in either natural caves or rocket chambers. So the first statement is correct. And they are to add on any mundane premises. Yes, even this is correct. And all three major religions of India utilize these paintings absolutely true. So the answer is D. Only one, two and three. And the best examples are in Ajanta and Ellora cave paintings. Consider the following statements about Manipuri dance. It gained prominence with the advent of Vaishnavism. It emphasizes more on sensuality than devotion. So the correct statements only one, only two, both one and two, neither one nor two. Yes, it gained prominence with the advent of Vaishnavism, true, but it focused more on devotion than sensuality. So the answer is A, only one. And some other details about Manipuri dance is, it finds its origin from celestial dance of Shiva and Parvati. And Rabindranath Tagore brought back the dance into limelight by introducing it in Shantaniketan. The paintings in Ajanta caves are, they belong to Shunga and Gupta period. These caves have only mural paintings while the Ellora caves have both mural and fresco paintings. Choose the correct statements. Only one, only two, both one and two, neither one not two. The first statement is correct because they belong to Sunga and Gupta period. 
but mural paintings and fresco paintings both are present in ajanta caves so the second statement is incorrect so the answer is a only one in ajanta both mural and fresco are present at what is fresco painting it is done on a wet plaster in which colors in which colors become fixed as a plaster dries and they are done on walls and ceilings and on uh, in ajanta they are present on both walls and ceilings and in ajanta cave paintings there is one unique feature that the fem each female figure has a different hairstyle no two females have the same hairstyle and animals and birds too have expressive emotions Consider the following statements about paintings found in Lepakshi Temple, Andhra Pradesh. They were religious paintings. They shows decline in quality of mural paintings. Choose the incorrect statements. Here, though Lepakshi is a temple, the paintings are not religious but uh, secular. So the first statement is incorrect. And yes, it shows the decline in quality of mural paintings. So the answer is B only. Sorry, they are asking for incorrect. So the answer is only E. only one be careful about incorrect and correct statements in the exam and there is complete absence of primary colors especially blue the painting used in illuminated manuscripts during period of renaissance is blue paint black paint red lead paint gold and it is c red lead paint it is found in the miniature paintings which of the following are the necessary preconditions of miniature paintings painting should not be more than 25 square inch skin color of all characters must be maintained uniform yes the first statement is true that it should not be more than 25 square inch area and the skin color or of all characters need not be maintained uniform there used to be differences in the skin color so the second statement is incorrect and so the answer is a only one and generally krishna was uh, depicted with blue color and some other uh, people uh, and the ladies near him were depicted with white so there will be differences in skin color they are not uniform and some other conditions are that the subject of painting should not be painted more than 1/6 of the original paint origin, uh, original size sorry and the skin color varied as we have seen before consider the following statements about miniature paintings in mogal period focus shifted from glorifying god to glorifying the ruler brilliant colors were used and choose the correct statements and these are the options and yes the focus was shifted from god to the ruler so the first statement is correct and brilliant colors were used even this is correct so the answer is c both one and two and the hunting scenes and historical scenes were also depicted using miniature paintings which of the following is the martial dance form of lakshadweep kaikotikali kolkali parichakali sorry for the pronunciation patakunita singi cham and the answer is b kolkali parichakali and let's see what others also meant and kaikotikal is a popular temple dance of kerala and it is performed during onam festival and kolkali parichakal as we have seen it is a martial dance of lakshadweep as well as kerala and the dancers used mock weapons of wood and and generally the dance starts slowly but ends in a frenzy way and patakunita is a popular in mysore and it is also popular among masses of all the religions means that is a secular art form and singi cham is a popular mask dance of sikkim and dressed in fury costumes and paid tribute to kanchenjunga peak the next one Which of the following rulers brought the technique of four sighting to the Indian painters' reper repertoire? Pala rulers, Greeks, Mughals, Portuguese, and they were C Mughals. What is four sighting mean? 
means the uh, objects in the painting objects were drawn in a way much closer than they ever and but they were drawn small smaller than they what actually are consider the following statements akbar established entire department devoted to paintings mogal paintings reached its zenith in his period choose the correct statements and uh, yes akbar has established an entire department devoted to paintings it is absolutely true but mogal paintings reached its zenith during the jahangir's reign but not the akbar's reign so the answer is a only one 11th one consider the following statements about mogal paintings during jahangir rule he preferred the paintings of flora and fauna decorated margins around the paintings was developed during his times yes jahangir preferred flora and fa fauna and decorated margins were also introduced so the answer is c both 1 and 2 turkey zebra and cock were the most famous naturalistic paintings during the times of jahangir and he himself is a good artist and had his own private workshop consider the following statements regarding akbar's paintings use of three dimensional figures was the defining feature of akbar's paintings he established karkhanas where artists developed their own style so choose the correct options yes use of three dimensional figures was the defining features and he established karkhanas to develop their own style so they were free to draw to draw or discover or invent a new style so the answer is c both 1 and 2 and akbar looked upon paintings as a study and amusement ragamala paintings during medieval period were they depict the amalgamation of art poetry and classical music each raga is personified by a color de describing the story of a hero and a heroine it elucidates the timing and season in a particular raga or is to be sung choose the correct statements and these are the options given Yes, it is amalgamation of art, poetry, and classical music, and each raga is personified by a color, and each describing a story. And the timing and the season in which a particular raga to be sung is also present. So the answer is D. Only one, two, and three. And another feature is that each raga is uh, attributed to a lord. For example, the Bhairava rag to Shiva. sorry which of the following differentiate the north indian miniatures to that of the south indian heavy use of gold in north indian south indians concentrated on painting divine creatures than the rulers to the correct statements a heavy use of gold is found in south indian mini miniature paintings but not in north indian so the first statement is incorrect and the south indian concentrated on painting divine creatures than the rulers Yes, that is absolutely true. So the answer is B only two. The last one, which of the following dances is known as Dasi Atam, Bharatanatyam, Kuchipudi, Odissi, Kathak, and the dance known as Dasi Atam is a Bharatanatyam. And the original origin of uh, Bharatanatyam is from the solo dances. performed by devadasis and from this the dashyatam the name of dashyatam has originated and that's all for today guys hope you like the course please do rate review and recommend the course thank you have a nice day hello everyone welcome to an academy hope you are all doing good and we are dealing with a course that is mcqs from art and culture of india and this particular lesson deals with the mcqs from paintings and dance forms of india and this is presented to you by me satvika you can read about me over here please do rate review and recommend the course and please do comment your score in the comment section below consider the following statements about the classical dance of india popular in andhra pradesh most of its recitals are based on the stories of bhagavata purana but have secular theme dancer may combine the role of singer into himself or herself it is generally accompanied with carnatic music choose the correct statements and these are the options given and the classical dance of india popular in andhra pradesh is kuchipudi and uh, all these three statements are true about 
కూచిపూడి దట్ ఈస్ ద స్టోరీస్ ఆర్ అన్ భాగవత పురాణ బట్ సెక్యులర్ అండ్ దే కంబైన్ ద రోల్ ఆఫ్ ఎ సింగర్ అండ్ ఎస్ వెల్ ఎస్ ఎ డాన్సర్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ అకంపనైడ్ విత్ కర్ణాటిక్ మ్యూజిక్ సో ద ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ డి ఓన్లీ వన్ టూ అండ్ త్రీ అండ్ వయలిన్ అండ్ మృదంగా మా ద ప్రిన్సిపల్ ఇన్స్ట్రూమెంట్స్ యూజ్ డ్యూరింగ్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ కన్సిడర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ అబౌట్ మోరల్ పెయింటింగ్స్ దీస్ పెయింటింగ్స్ ఆన్ పేపర్ ఆర్ విత్ ఇంట్రికేట్ డిటైలింగ్ దే పోర్ట్రే హ్యూమన్ వాల్యూస్ కాస్ట్యూమ్స్ సోషల్ ఫ్యాబ్రిక్ ఆఫ్ దర్ పీరియడ్ చూస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆప్షన్స్ ఓన్లీ వన్ ఓన్లీ టూ బోత్ వన్ అండ్ టూ నైజ్ వన్ నాట్ టూ మురల్ పెయింటింగ్స్ కాన్ బి డ్రాన్ ఆన్ పేపర్ బికాస్ దే ఆర్ ఆఫ్ వెరీ వ్యాస్ట్ సైజ్ సో ఇట్ రిక్వైర్ అ వాల్ టు బి డ్రాన్ సో ఇట్ కాన్ బి డ్రాన్ ఆన్ పేపర్ సో ద ఫస్ట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇస్ ఇన్కరెక్ట్ అండ్ యస్ దే పోర్ట్రీ హ్యూమన్ వాల్యూస్ కాస్ట్యూమ్స్ అండ్ సోషల్ ఫ్యాబ్రిక్ ఆఫ్ దట్ పీరియడ్ సో ద ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ బి ఓన్లీ టూ Paintings during the time of Shah Jahan are artificial elements were added encouraged to draw and sketch using pencil heightened the use of gold and silver in the paintings choose the correct statements and these are the options given and yes artificial elements were added and the use of pencil was predominant during that period and gold and silver were mostly used so the answer is C only 1 2 and 3 and apart from that he also wanted to reduce the liveliness in the paintings and he was influenced by the european paintings consider the following statements about tanjore paintings chola rulers patronized them most of the images were of krishna choose the correct statements it is not chola rulers who patronized them but rather they are marathas who have patronized the tanjore paintings and most of the images were of krishna yes this is true so the answer is b only two and it is a decorative style of painting and glasses and gemstones are used for embellishments gesso paste which gives particular base to the paintings is found in mysore paintings tanjore paintings both a and b none of them above and it is found in a mysore paintings and the unique feature of mysore paintings is that uh, two or more pictures were uh, two or more uh, figures were present in uh, one painting but one of the figure among those was the uh, predominant or uh, uh, predominant among others in terms of size or color etc which of the following paintings has the common theme of life after that white car paintings kalamkari paintings madhubani paintings all of them above and the theme of life of the death is observed in white car paintings and it is a painting done by tribal people of jharkhand and it is also called as scroll painting and it is one of the ancient schools of painting consider the following statements about kathakali most of them represent the eternal conflict between good and evil there is minimal use of properties but an elaborate makeup choose the correct statements most of them represent the eternal conflict between good and evil yes that is true and they use minimal minimal properties of course yes and also elaborate makeup is seen in among the kathakali artists and uh, we all remember the face of the kathakali artists i guess and so the answer is c both one and two and one more important thing about that is they use uh, various colors and each color denotes one specific object like uh, green denotes nobility and divinity and red royalty and black evil and wickedness eighth one jugal bandi is the main attraction of which classical dance bharatnatyam kuchipudi kathakali kathak first thing what is jugal bandi it means the competitive play between the dancer and the tabla player and here it is the main attraction of kathak that is d which of the following paintings have geographical indication tag madhubani paintings cheriyal paintings varli paintings tanjore paintings and geographical indication tags is one of the most uh, favorite topic of upsc so please have a look over it and here coming to this question all these four paintings have been given the gi tag that is madhubani cheriyal varli and tanjore so the answer is d only 1 2 and 3 4 and apart from these four even mysore paintings were given the gi tag 
అండ్ నిర్మల్ అండ్ చెరియాల్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు తెలంగాణ అండ్ వార్లీ బిలాంగ్స్ టు మహారాష్ట్ర అండ్ మధుబని పెయింటింగ్స్ ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ బీహార్ జలచిత్ర నృత్యం ఈజ్ అన్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఆఫ్ విచ్ క్లాసికల్ డ్యాన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా భరతనాట్యం కూచిపూడి కథక్ ఒడిస్సి అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ కూచిపూడి ఇట్ మీన్స్ ఐ డాన్స్ అండ్ డ్రాస్ పిక్చర్స్ ఆన్ ద ఫ్లోర్ విత్ హిజ్ ఆర్ హర్ టోస్ వైల్ డాన్సింగ్ విచ్ ఆర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ డాన్సెస్ ఫర్ పర్ఫామ్ డ్యూరింగ్ దసరా ఆర్ నవరాత్రి చార్బా గార్బా తారంగమల్ రంగ్మా అండ్ చూస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆప్షన్స్ అండ్ దన్సర్స్ ఆప్షన్స్ ఆర్ హియర్ అండ్ ద డాన్సర్స్ ఆర్ చార్బా ఎస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ పర్ఫామ్ గార్బా ఇన్ గుజరాత్ విచ్ ఇస్ ఫేమస్ ఇన్ గుజరాత్ ఎస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో పర్ఫామ్ డ్యూరింగ్ దసరా ఆర్ నవరాత్రి అండ్ తారంగమల్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో పర్ఫామ్ బట్ రాంగ్మా ఈజ్ నాట్ పర్ఫామ్ డ్యూరింగ్ దసరా సో ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ సి ఓన్లీ వన్ టూ అండ్ త్రీ rangma is a martial dance or belonging to nagaland and charba is a folk dance of himachal pradesh and garba gujarat tala patta chitra a form of patta chitra paintings of odisha is done on cloth palm leaf walls of house utensils and tala patta chitra is done on palm leaf that is b consider the following statements about kalamkari paintings the pen used is made of sharp pointed bamboo base is cotton fabric colors of vegetable dyes choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two yes the pen pen used in kalamkari paintings is made by bamboo with a sharp point edge and the base is a cotton fabric and the colors of vegetable dyes so the answer is c both one and two and uh, kalamkari painting is uh, mainly found in shrikalhasti and machlipatnam in the state andhra pradesh petroglyphs were prehistoric manuscripts prehistoric rock paintings prehistoric architectural designs prehistoric dance forms and petroglyphs were prehistoric rock paintings so the answer is b Mural paintings are found in which of the following places? Ajanta Caves, Lepakshi Temple, Sanchi Stupa. Choose the correct statements. Only 1, 2, only 2, 3, only 1, 3, only 1, 2, 3. Except Sanchi Stupa, in both Ajanta Caves and Lepakshi Temple, mural paintings were found. So the answer is A, only 1 and 2. That's all for today guys. Hope you like the course. Please do rate, review and recommend the course. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello everyone, welcome to an academy and we are dealing with the course that is MCQs from Art and Culture of India and this particular lesson covers uh, uh, MCQs from UNESCO World Heritage Sites and Music and some Art and Craft and this is presented to you by me Satvika, you can read about me over here, please do rate, review and recommend the course and please do comment your score in the comment section below. Moving to the first question, which of the following in respect of tie and dye art of art for cloth printing is not correct? Laharia, Rajasthan, Ikat, Kerala, Bandhani, Gujarat, none of the above. And yes, Laharia type of dye and dye art is from Rajasthan. So the first statement is correct. And Ikat is not from Kerala. So the an- answer is B. And yes, Bandhani is from Gujarat. And Ikat is from Odisha or Telangana. In both the states, uh, Ikat printing is done. So the answer is B. That is Ikat. The famous Bidri work is done in Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala. And it is the much, most famous work in Karnataka. And it is a silver filigree work which is done on a dark background. Which of the following is not the criteria for selection of UNESCO World Heritage Sites? The site which is directly tangibly associated with events or living traditions representing major stages of earth's history represents masterpiece of human creative genius all the above are criteria for selection yes the second the last one that is all the above are the criteria for selection is the correct answer as all these are the criteria of selection and unesco generally tags sites as either as cultural sites or natural sites and sometimes it might might give a mixed site tag that is a 
uh, it satisfies the condition of both cultural sites as well as natural sites so here the answer is d all of the above and for example the cultural sites in india are ajanta caves and taj mahal etc and natural sites at sundarban national park nanda devi etc on the fourth one Which of the following is not a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Hill forts of Rajasthan, rock shelters of Bhimbatika, Buddhist sites at Sarnath, Chola temples. Yes, hill forts are of Rajasthan is a part of UNESCO World Heritage Site, and rock shelters of Bhimbatika is also UNESCO World Heritage Site. But Buddhist sites at Sarnath is not an a World Heritage Site, and Chola temples is also has got a UNESCO tag. but here buddhist site at uh, sanchi got um, unesco tag but not sarnath so the answer is c buddhist sites at sarnath which of the following states has major number of sites listed as unesco's world heritage sites maharashtra delhi rajasthan and uttar pradesh and the state with most number of uh, sites is maharashtra it has four sites listed and the ozar chatrapati shivaji terminus ajanta caves ellora caves and elephanta caves which of the following national park is a mixed site in the list of unesco's world heritage sites manas kajranga western ghats kanchenjunga as i said before generally it gives as a natural site or cultural site but sometimes it might give as a mixed site that is it satisfies the conditions of both the natural site and cultural site and such mixed site in india is d kanchenjunga and it is the only mixed site in india which is in the unesco's world heritage set world heritage list that is kanchenjunga consider the following statements about garana system also known as ashram and it and it embodied the guru shishya tradition There was no discrimination between prince and commoner. Choose the correct statements. Only one, only two, both one and two, neither one, not two. Yes, it is also known as ashram system, and it is uh, embodied the Guru Shishya tradition. That is true, and uh, both the prince and the commoner were treated equally in the Garana system. So the answer is C, both one and two. and generally teachers were sages and the students uh, should live in uh, the hermitage for almost 12 years and they get the knowledge by serving the master that is the sage the first work that clarified and elaborated on subject of music musicology was bharata's natya shastra sangeet ratnakara sangeeta makaranda braha deshi and uh, The answer is A. Bharata's Natya Shastra. You might get confused that Nat Natya Shastra deals with dance, but uh, some of the chapters uh, deals with music in that uh, Bharata's Natya Shastra. So that becomes the first treatise which uh, deals with the musicology. Consider the following statements about Hindustani music. It has historical roots in Bharata's Natya Shastra. Drupad, Khayal, Rag Sagar, etc. are some of the styles of Hindustani music. Choose the correct statements. Generally, Hindustani music is more famous in the North India, and uh, yes, it has historical roots in Bharatas Natya Shastra. And these uh, Drupad, Khayal, and Rag Sagar, etc. are the styles in uh, Hindustani music. So the answer is C, both one and two. Drupad one of the oldest and grandest forms of Hindustani classical music it has reached its zenith during Humayun Akbar Jahangir Shah Jahan and yes so Drupad is one of the form of Hindustani classical music and it it has reached its zenith during B Akbar generally drupad is of temple origin and uh, it will have uh, almost four to five stanzas and um, two people will be performed generally consider the following statements about khayal means idea or imagination and its origin is attributed to amir khusro pada khayal is sung in fast tempo and chota khayal is also sung in fast tempo choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two 
Yes, it means the idea or imagination and Amir Kusro oh, is attributed for its origin. So, first statement is true. And if you see here, Bada Khayal, Chota Khayal, both are saying that they are of fast tempo. Then how can the difference arise? So, this second statement seems incorrect and yes, it is incorrect. And the um, correct one is only one that is A. Here, Bada Khayal is that which is uh, sung in a slow tempo and Chota Khayal is sung in fast tempo. Consider the following statements about Gharana system. It typically refers to the place where the musical ideology originated. It is a system of social organization linking musicians by lineage. Choose the correct statements only one, only two, both one and two, neither one nor two. Yes, it typically refers to the place where music ideology has originated. And it is a system of social organization too. So, the, both the statements 1 and 2 are correct. So, the answer is C, both 1 and 2. Consider the following statements about Carnatic music. Music is Kriti based and focuses more on Sahitya or lyrical quality of the musical piece. Every composition in the Carnatic style has Pallavi, choose the correct statements. And yes, Carnatic music is the most famous music in the South India. And music is Kriti based, yes, that is true. And it focuses more on Sahitya, even that is true. So the first statement is true. And every composition has Pallavi. Those are the starting lines of the song. And it generally has two to three songs, uh, two, two to three lines. And after every stanza, they, the Pallavi repeats generally. So the uh, both 1 and 2 are true. So the answer is C. See, Pallavi is the first or the second lines of the composition and often repeated in each stanza. Next one. Kongjom Parva is an important folk music from the state of Nagaland, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Manipur. And it is a folk music of the Manipur. And it is a musical narration of the battle of Kongzom. That's the reason why it is known as Kongzom Parva. And the last question. Consider the following statements about Kavali. Kind of devotional music composed in single raga and is generally written in Persian, Urdu or Hindu. Hindi, sorry. Choose the correct statements. Only one, only two, both one and two, neither one nor two. Yes, it is a kind of devotional music. And it is composed in single raga and all these three languages are used in writing the Kavali. So the answer is C, both 1 and 2. And some points are, uh, generally lyrics are in praise of Allah or the Prophet Ahmad or any Sufi saint or the Islamic saint. And they are usually sung in a slow, solo, performed slow, in solo or also sometimes uh, groups of two lead singers are also perform, will also perform Kavali. And that's all for today guys. Hope you like the course. Please do rate, review and recommend the course. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello everyone. Welcome to an academy and we are dealing with the course that is MCQs from Art and Culture of India and this particular lesson covers languages and some dance forms and this is presented to you by me Satvika. You can read about me over here. Please do rate, review and recommend the course and please do comment your score in the comment section below. Moving to the first question. Consider the following statements about Gajal. It consists of rhyming couplets, poetic expression of both the pain of loss or separation and the beauty of love in spite of pain. It traditionally deals with only one subject. Choose the correct statements. Yes, it consists of uh, rhyming couplets and the poetic expression of pain or the loss of a lover or is uh, depicted and Generally, only one subject uh, is dealt at a time. So, the answer is D, only 1, 2 and 3. And it spread to South Asia in the 12th century AD due to the influence of Sufism and the courts of New Islamic Sultanate. Which of the following are Sushir Vadya, Shahnai, Bansuri, Pungi. Choose the correct statements, only 1, 2, only 1, only 2, 1, 2, 3. And what is known as Sushirvadya? It means the wind instruments. Yes, Shahana is, the, is a wind instrument and Bansuri is also a wind instrument and Pungi is also a wind instrument. So the answer is D. Only 1, 2 and 3. 
which are the following differences or similarities about hindustani and carnatic music are true both adhere to the timings carnatic music is purely indigenous there are several substyles in hindustani while carnatic is confined to a particular style choose the correct statements the first statement that both adhere to the timings is absolutely wrong because only hindustani music adhere to the timings and carnatic music has no such uh, timings and all it can be sing at any song at any time so first statement is incorrect and yes carnatic music is purely indigenous and uh, as we have seen before that uh, drupad etc are the styles of hindustani and uh, so there are sub styles yes this is true that uh, there are sub styles in hindustani but uh, carnatic is particularly of single style so both the statements 2 and 3 are correct and the first one is incorrect so the answer is b only 2 and 3 consider the following statements about mohini attam it generally narrates the story of the feminine dance of vishnu costume is of special importance with white and off white being principal colors and mohini attam is a dance form of kerala and yes it generally narrates the story of uh, vishnu so the first statement is correct and the costume is of white or off white yes both the statements are true that is c both one and two and generally it is performed by female because the lasya aspect is a important one in that dance form so generally performed by females and uh, the element of air is symbolized through this dance which of the following dance is listed in unesco's representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity chau kalbeliya both a and b none of the above and yes chau is is in the list of uh, representative list of intangible cultural heritage and kabelia dance is also present in the uh, list so the answer is c both one and two that is a and b and chau is a form of mask dance and uses vigorous martial movements and it is a famous dance in uh, jharkhand odisha and west bengal and kabelia is a famous dance form from rajasthan Consider the following statements about Odissi dance form. They create intricate geometrical shapes and patterns with her body. Kandagiri Udayiri caves provide some of the earliest examples. It is accompanied by Carnatic music. Choose the correct statements, and these are the options given. And yes, they create an intricate uh, geometric shapes while dancing. So the first statement is true. And Kandagiri Udayiri. caves provide as the first or the best examples for the odissi dance form and uh, it is not accompanied by carnatic music but accompanied by hindustani music so the third statement is incorrect so the answer is only one and two and the odissi dance form is similar to bharatanatyam in use of mudras and tribanga poster is the most famous among all the posters of odissi and it is accompanied by hindustani music Consider the following statements about Satriya dance introduced by Vaishnava saint Shankara Deva performed by a group of female monks known as Bokots to the incorrect statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two Yes in Satriya which is a famous dance form of Assam it is uh, introduced by Vaishnava saint Shankara Deva yes that is true and uh, in the initial days it is performed by male monks not female monks it is generally confined to male monks in the initial days and those are known as bokors so the answer is b only two as they are asking incorrect statements but at present even male and both uh, both male and female are uh, performing this dance but generally in the on in initial days it is performed by the male monks and the musical instruments used while performing are kol and flute and the songs are composed by shankara deva and these are known as borgeets and it narrates the mythological stories of vishnu and there are strict ru- strict rules in respect of hand gestures and footwork kuti attam is martial art form of kerala theater of theater art of kerala musical treatise of kerala folk dance form of kerala and kuthiyattam is a theater art of kerala 
the oldest written reference to puppeting is found in silpadikaram nanti shastra samaveda shakuntalam and it is silpadikaram that is a the 10th one sankirtana included in unesco's list of intangible cultural heritage is from manipur meghalaya tamil nadu kerala and sankirtana is from the state a manipur and it is present in the unesco's list of intangible cultural heritage and something about it is it is performed to mark the religious occasions and various stages in the life of manipuri vaishnavites and it also narrates the life of lord krishna 11th one consider the following statements about mudiyattu folk dance and drama performed in the state of kerala listed in unesco's intangible list depicts the battle between kali and the demon darika performed in temples before harvest season choose the correct statements and these are the options given and yes it is a folk dance and drama performed in kerala and most of the uh, uh, names with the ending uh, to are belonging to uh, belongs to kerala so you can mark it uh, blindfoldedly too and uh, as it depicts the battle between kali and demon darika both the first and second statements are true and coming to the third one these are performed in temples not before the harvest season but after the harvest season so the third statement is incorrect and uh, so the answer is a only one and two consider the following statements about ramlila enactment of ramayana using songs dances and dialogues generally performed by male actors so the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two and yes ramlila talks about ramayana uh, um, talks about ramayana through songs dances and dialogues yes, that is true and it is generally performed by male actors yes even this is true so the answer is c both one and two which of the following language or languages is not in the schedule eight of the constitution english mizo and bodo and these are the options and english yes it is not part of the schedule eight of our constitution and even mizo is not part of the schedule eight but bodo yes it is part of the schedule eight so the answer is a only one and two and bodo was added to the schedule eight through 92nd amendment act yes it is 92nd amendment act which has added bodo to the list of languages and english and mizo are not part of schedule eight the 14th one gotipuvas were boys dressed as female to continue the odissi dance make a parties for kathakali dancers those who play music during kuchipudi dance none of the above and the gotipuva dance uh, gotipuvas were the boys dressed as female to continue the odissi dance they were short of uh, female dancers and uh, in some time in the history so even boys came boys dressed as females and uh, they used to dance uh, odissi and um, and those boys who have dressed in female are known as gotipuva so the answer is a consider the following statement language to be adopted by the states as official language of the state should be from those listed in the a schedule english is the official language of nagaland and meghalaya choose the correct statement if you see the second statement that english is the official language of nagaland and meghalaya that is true as as english is the official language of these two states but the first statement says that only those languages which are listed in the eighth schedule can be the official language of state if you see this english which is not listed in the schedule eight as we have seen in the previous question but still it is the official language of nagaland and meghalaya so the first statement is incorrect that even those languages which are not listed in the schedule 8 of the constitution can be the official language of the states so the answer is b only two hope i made it clear that the languages which are not part of schedule 8 can also be states official languages okay 
so the solution is b that is uh, only two is correct and that's all for today guys hope you like the course please do rate review and recommend the course thank you have a nice day hello everyone welcome to an academy hope you are all doing good and we are dealing with the course that is mcqs from art and culture of india and this particular lesson covers mcqs from classical language and the literature of india and this is presented to you by me satvika you can read about me over here please do rate review and recommend the course and please do comment your score in the comment section below moving to the first question consider the following statements about classical language classical language status is being provided from 1950 odia is recently declared as a classical language choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one nor two and the classical language status is being provided from 2004 and not 1950 so the first statement is incorrect and yes odia is uh, essentially declared as a classical language so the answer is b only two which of the following criteria was laid down to determine the language as classical language literary tradition be original and not borrowed from another speech community high antiquity of its early texts choose the incorrect statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two here yes the literary tradition should be original and not borrowed from any other language or the another speech community and the high antiquity of its early texts is also the criteria for being declared as a classical language so the answer is d neither one not two as they're asking incorrect statements and apart from these two criteria the other two criteria for declaring classical language is a body of ancient literature or texts which are considered valuable by generation of speakers and the classical language and literature uh, should be distinct from the modern literature which is being used and they they can also be some discontinuity that doesn't matter for being declared as a classical language even if there is a discontinuity between the classical literature and the classical language and the modern language it doesn't matter which of the following are benefits of language being declared declared as classical language two major international awards for scholars of the classical indian languages awarded annually center for excellence for studies in classical languages 100 crore every year is funded for research in the language so the correct statements and these are the options given yes if if any language is declared as a classical language two major international awards for scholars in that in those languages will be awarded annually so the first statement is true and the center for excellence is uh, established for those classical languages for improvementing in the studies and there is no such um, a uh, instrument or the there is no such uh, um, funding program given by the government for uh, this research in the language there is no 100 crore funding like as such so the answer is a only one and two nodal organization of national translation mission is ministry of information and broadcasting ministry of statistics and program implementation vishwa bharati university central institute of indian languages and the nodal institute for the translation national translation mission is central institute of indian languages that is d which of the following is the national language of india english hindi sanskrit none of the above and india doesn't have any national language as such so the answer is d none of the above there is only official language no national language for india Which of the following is not a classical language? Pali, Sanskrit, Telugu, Kannada. And yes, Sanskrit is a classical language. Telugu is also Sanskrit classical language, and Kannada is also a classical language. So the answer is yes, Pali. And the Pali is a language used by Buddhist Buddhist texts. And though Pali satisfies all the criteria for being declared as a classical language, which we have seen before, but still it is, but still it is not being declared as a classical language. What does jakat, according to Islam, denotes? Friday prayers, fast during Ramzan, charity, successor of prophet. And the jakat means charity. That is C. And according to prophet. a portion of the income is to be given to the needy and poor that is the ne- meaning of zakat that is charity and the friday prayers done in, uh, to be done in a community mosque is known as juma namaz 
normally prayers are known as namas and the friday pay, prayers which they collectively do is known as juma namas consider the following statements about farizi movement coming back of pure islam and to do obligatory duties of islam people should not go to saints and follow their rituals so the correct statements and according to the farizi movement it means the uh, coming back of pure islam and to do obligatory duties of islam yes that is true and people should not uh, go to saints or some uh, or some spiritual leaders like that so the answer is both c both 1 and 2 and the farizi movement founder is haji shariatullah political drama which describes the ascent of chandragupta maurya to power is malvika agnimitra mrichya katika mudra rakshasa abhignana shakuntala and uh, the drama which depicts the ascent of chandragupta maurya to power is mudra rakshasa that is c malvika agnimitra deals with the love story of malvika and agnimitra and it is written by kalidasa and mrichya katika is a it uh, is a story about a love affair of ha- young brahmin charudatta with a courtesan and it is written by shudraka and mudra rakshasa is about how chandragupta maurya has ascended the throne and it is written by vishakadatta and abhignana shakuntala is about a recognition of Cha- shakuntala and it is written by kalidasa the famous ta- sangam text written by illango adigal is selapadikaram mani mekhalai kural none of the above and ilanga adigal has written shilapadikaram mani mekhala is written by chatnar and kural is written by tiruvallurar the famous women alwar saint or saints is or are avayar andal both nan and it is b andal and avyar are those female saints contributed to sangam literature the name of uh, the collective name is known as avyar and the famous one is andal the famous ratnatraya in kannada are nannaya pampa ponna erana ranna so these are correct options and these are the options given and if you see nannaya and erana belongs to the telugu oh, literature they are the famous telugu poets and pompa ponna and ranna are the ratnatraya famous in kannada so the answer is 2 3 and 5 that is d and pompa is known as the father of kannada father of kannada literature and nannaya and erana are the telugu poets development of hindi from apabhramsha happened during later vedic age mauryan age medieval period after rule of aurangzeb and the development has happened during the medieval period which of the following upanishad has a mention of musical instruments used in ancient india chandogya upanishad brahadranya upanishad mundaka upanishad aitreya upanishad and the upanishad which deals with the musical instruments is a chandogya upanishad the last question satyameva jayate found in our national anthem is from sorry this is national emblem which was written in our national emblem uh, it is is from kena upanishad maha upanishad mundak upanishad aitreya upanishad and it is from c mundak upanishad and please do correct this this is not national anthem but national emblem it is from mundaka upanishad and maha upanishad mentions about the vasudeva kutumbam so that's all for today guys hope you like the course please do rate review and recommend the course thank you have a good day hello everyone welcome to an academy and hope you are all doing good we are dealing with a course that is mcqs from art and culture of india and this particular lesson covers mcqs from civil and honors given by india and some festival celebrated in india and also some trivial details about art and culture this is presented to you by me satvika you can read about me over here please do rate review and recommend the course and please do comment your score in the comment section below moving to the first question which of the following are the reasons for aryabhatta studies on space 
to get accuracy for calendars navigation attain knowledge about tides and stars to look at horoscopes choose the correct statements and these are the options given and uh, arbata study is helped in uh, to get the accuracy of calendars navigation and uh, to attain knowledge about tides and stars and also to look at but to look at horoscopes so all these statements are true so the answer is d only 1 2 3 4 for the first time as a number is mentioned in a book and that book is written by aryabhata brahmagupta bhaskaracharya apastamba and it is written by b brahmagupta and the book name is brahmasputa siddhantika and it also introduced the negative numbers Sushruta Samhita written by Sushruta deals with Ayurveda medicines surgery prevention of diseases and it deals with C surgery and there is a mention about surgeries and obstetrics and the rhinoplasty that is plastic surgery and ophthalmology that is ejection of cataract were also mentioned in Sushruta Samhita and the Charak Samhita which is written by Charak deals with Ayurveda Consider the following statements about Kalari Payat ancient sport of India and it is first statement is martial art from Kerala and the second statement judo and karate originated from it choose the correct statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two and yes martial art from Kerala and it is Kalari Payat and uh, judo and karate have originated from it so the answer is C only one and two and the bodhi karma a famous sage has transmitted this art of kalari paya to china chaturanga is a sport of ancient times in modern times it is being called as kabaddi jallikattu carrom chess and chaturanga is a name of d chess and the chess is also known as ashtapada and it is mentioned in mahabharata Consider the following statements the months of various calendars is divided into pakshas or fortnights shukla paksha starts with a day following the full moon choose the incorrect statements only one only two both one and two neither one not two and yes months of various calendars is divided into fortnights that is 15 days uh, so the first statement is true and shukla paksha is the one that starts following a new moon day or not full moon day So the answer is B only two as they are asking incorrect statement. And Krishna Paksha is the one that is dark half starts with the day following full moon day and Shukla Paksha starts with uh, the day following new moon day. It is known as bright half. Consider the following statements about solar year under Hindu calendar. This calendar is divided into two halves, known as, called Uttarayana and Dakshinayana. Makar Sankranti, a famous harvest festival, falls in Uttarayana. Choose the correct statements. Only one, both one and two, neither one nor two. And here, and the solar year is divided into two halves. That is Uttarayana and Dakshinayana. Yes, that is true. And Makar Sankranti, a famous festival. It falls in Uttarayana. Yes, even that is true. So the answer is C, both one and two. In fact, Makar Sankranti, the day starting of Uttarayana is the one which is celebrated as Makar Sankranti. See, Uttarayana is the first six months that from Makar Sankranti, that is from January to June in the Gregorian calendar, and it is regarded as God's Day. and dakshinayana that is from july to december is regarded as god's night eighth one which of the following statements is are true about bharat ratna the highest civilian award award is given to persons from any field of human endeavor it is recommended to the president by parliament only two persons can be awarded per year to the correct statements only one only two three only one three none of the above Yes, the award is given to person from any field of human endeavor. There is no specific field like art field, art science or crafts like that. Any field, a person who excelled in any field is eligible to get the Bharat Ratna award. So the first statement is true, and it is not recommended by Parliament, but rather it is recommended by Prime Minister to the President, and per year. 
up to three persons can receive the award so the answer is here only one that is a as only first statement is true and both these uh, two and three are incorrect and the award has uh, started being award is started being given from 1954 and originally only those uh, um, persons who have excelled in art science literature or public service were regarded for this award but from 2011 or from persons from any field are being considered and the prime minister makes a recommendation and not more than 3 people are awarded in a particular year the place in order in order place in order the padma awards according to their order of precedence padma bhushan padma vibhushan padma shri choose the correct order 1 2 3 2 1 3 1 3 2 2 2 all are of equal order we all know that these all are not of equal order there are uh, different uh, high level and lower level ones so the fourth one that is d is incorrect and here the first one the um, we know that the highest civilian award is bharat ratna first one is bharat ratna and the second one is padma vibhushan and the and the third highest civilian award of india is padma bhushan and the fourth is padma shri so the answer here is 2 1 3 and among the padma awards padma vibhushan is the highest one and then comes the padma bhushan and then comes the padma shri so the answer is b 2 1 3 Consider the following statements about Padma Awards. Starting from 1954, every year at least one is awarded. They are announced every year on Independence Day. One can be awarded a higher degree of award only after three or more years. And choose the incorrect options. And these are the options given. And yes, they were started in 1954. And uh, not every year uh, at least one awarded is. one uh, award is awarded some in some media, years there is no padma awards announced so the first statement is incorrect and uh, they are announced on the republic day and not independence day so even the second statement is incorrect and one can be promoted to a higher award that is from padma shri to padma bhushan or from padma bhushan to padma vibhushan only after five or more years not three so even the third statement is incorrect it is five So the answer is D. Only one, two, and three are asking incorrect statements. And the years nineteen seventy seven, nineteen eighty, nineteen ninety three, nineteen ninety seven are those when Padma Awards were not awarded, and they were announced on Republic Day, as we have seen before. And the higher degree only after four, five, or more years. They are promoted to a higher degree only after five or more years, and rarely they are given to the posthumously means after the death they are rarely given the words desh seva are embossed on which award bharat ratna padma vibhushan padma bhushan padma shri and the word dev seva is embossed on b padma vibhushan which of the following is our martial art forms of india kalari payattu silambam gatka choose the correct options and these are the options given and all these three that is kalari paya to silambam and gatka are the martial art forms of india so the answer is d only 1 2 and 3 and kalari paya to is from kerala and silambam belongs to tamil nadu and gatka is from punjab which of the following festival mark the new year in respective regions vishu gudi parva ugadi nama barsa choose the correct options 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 vishu is a new year of kerala and gudi parva of maharashtra ugadi of uh, andhra pradesh and telangana so the, and all these uh, four are the new year festival celebrated so the answer is c only 1 2 3 4 and some other festivals which are new years in that particular regions are vishu from kerala as we have seen gudi parva maharashtra ugadi from andhra pradesh karnataka telangana to and nabhabarsha from west bengal putando is from tamil nadu and sambatsar padvo goa bihu assam cheriyaba cheriyaba manipur and losong sikkim sorry if any pro- any pronunciation is wrong i am not uh, well versed in all these festivals so next one as many as 
dance a set and new guinness world record by performing together in a single event in india recently the dance they performed is kuchipudi bharatnatyam kathak satriya and it is a kuchipudi and the dance is performed in vijayawada consider the following statements about hornbill festival it is regarded as festival of festivals it is celebrated on the statehood day of nagaland choose the correct options only one only two both one and two neither one not two and yes hornbill festival is regarded as a festival of festivals and it is and the day is also a state and the day that is celebrated as hornbill festival is also the statehood day of nagaland so the answer is c both one and two and it is a tribute to hornbill the most admired and revered bird for the nagas for its qualities of alertness and grandeur that's all for today guys hope you like the course please do rate review and recommend the course thank you hello everyone welcome to an academy and we are dealing with the course that is mcqs from art and culture and this particular lesson covers mcqs from current affairs and some previous year questions this is presented to you by me satvika you can read about me over here please do rate review and recommend the course and please do comment your score in the comment section below and let's start with the first question what is or are common to the two historical places known as ajanta and mahabalipuram both were built in the same period both belong to the same religious denomination both have rock cut monuments and these are the options given um, they both are not below or not of same period so the first statement is incorrect and uh, they both do not belong to the same religious denomination too so the second statement is also incorrect and yes both have rock cut monuments only this is the common feature between two historical places so the answer is b only 3 chaitra of the national calendar based on the shaka era corresponds to which of, which one of the following dates of the gregorian calendar in a normal year of 365 days 22nd march 15th may 31st march 21st april and it below and it begins with 22nd march or 25th march the arrival of babar into india led to the introduction of gunpowder in the subcontinent introduction of arch and dome in the region's architecture establishment of tamarite dynasty in the region choose the correct statements these are the options given and yes gunpowder was introduced in the subcontinent after the arrival of babar so the first statement is true and introduction of arch and dome has been uh, um has took place much ahead of the, much before the babar's arrival that is even in the sultanate dynasty delhi sultanate period there is arch and dome architecture so the second statement is incorrect and establishment of timurid dynasty yes that is true so the answer is c only one and three with reference to art and archaeological history of india which one among the following was the made earliest lingaraj temple at bhubaneswar rocket elephant at dauli rocket monuments at mahabalipuram varaha image at udaygiri and the earliest among these is rocket elephant at dauli with reference to buddhist history tradition and culture in india which of the following pages is are correctly matched tabo monastery spiti valley lotsawa lakhang temple jaskar valley alchi temple ladakh choose the correct statements and these are the options given yes tabo monastery is uh, at spiti valley and alchi temple complex at ladakh but lotsawa lakhang temple is in himachal pradesh but as jaskar valley belongs to jammu and kashmir the second statement is incorrect so the answer is c only 1 and 3 Lotsawa Lakhang Temple is in Nako village in Himachal Pradesh. Consider the following statements about rock cut architecture of India. Caves at Badami are the oldest surviving rock cut caves in India. Barabar caves were originally made for Ajivikas by Emperor Chandragupta Maurya. At Ellora caves were made for different faith. And the caves much before the caves of Badami the Barabar caves but the oldest so the first statement is incorrect and barabar caves were built um, by the son of ashoka that is dasharath we have seen that in the previous lessons and at ellora caves made of different faiths were present yes we have seen that too and the highest number of caves are of hinduism and next buddhism and this and next jaina so the third statement is the only correct statement here so the answer is c only 3 
where is the famous vijay vithala temple having its 56 carved pillars emitting musical notes located belur bhadrachalam hampi shrirangam and it is at hampi karnataka and it is a capital of vijayanagara empire consider the following statements islamic calendar is 12 days shorter than the gregorian calendar islamic calendar began in ad 632 Gregorian calendar is a solar calendar choose the correct statements only one only one two only one three only three the first statement is incorrect and uh, the second statement is also incorrect as the islamic calendar was uh, begun in 622 ad so the second statement is also incorrect and gregorian calendar is a solar calendar yes that is true so the answer is d only three the first national tribal carnival was held at Assam, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana, Delhi, and it was held at Delhi. It was held recently, and it is to promote the sense of inclusiveness, inclusiveness among the tribals. Which Indian state has received Golden City Gate Awards and Oscar of Tourism and Communication? Kerala, Goa, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and it is a Kerala. and the kerala tourism campaign is the new worlds which has uh, got the award and the earlier the kerala tourism has also won an, an another award called ulysses that is a prize of the unwto for its contribution as a global leader for to sustainable tourism and this award is awarded every year for the ultimate recognition in global tourism communication at itb berlin and which is the world's leading travel trade show chapchar cut festival celebrated after the jhum cultivation is traditional festival of manipur arunachal pradesh mizoram tripura and it is the festival of c mizoram and it is celebrated in the march of every year which of the following sarees got geographical indication status Ilka sarees, Santipur sarees, Paitani sarees. Choose the correct options. Only one, two, only three, only one, three, only one, two, three. Yes, all these sarees has got the GI status from in from the government of India. So the answer is D. Only one, two, and three. And Ilka saree is a famous one from Karnataka and Santipur from West Bengal and Paitani saree is famous in Maharashtra. And the thirteenth one. Which of the following statements about Suraj Kund International Crafts Mela is correct? The theme state of thirty-first Mela is Jharkhand. It is celebrated in Haryana in February. Choose the correct options. It was recently celebrated in February from first to fifteenth in two thousand seventeen, and the and that is the thirty-first Mela, and the theme state is Jharkhand. So both the statements are true. So the answer is C, both one and two. and there are more than more, more than million visitors have visited it and even the foreign tourists have participated and it is the largest craft fair in the world and it is organized by the suraj kund mela authority and haryana tourism in collaboration with union minister of tourism textiles and culture and also external affairs santara ritual is related to buddhism jainism hinduism islam and it is related to jainism that is to fast and to death voluntary and systematic fasting to death the temple of bel an ancient temple belongs to the country syria libya iran iraq and it belongs to a syria and isis has attacked it and it is in the state called palmyra previously is is uh, palmyra is under the control of isis but later the syrian army has uh, uh, undertook this uh, uh, has defeated isis and took the uh, palmyra from them and that's all for today guys hope you like the course please do rate review and recommend the course thank you have a nice day